And happening right now, the ribbon cutting ceremony for Tampa's newest community space, the Brian Glazer Family Jewish Community Center. Take a look. This is a live picture here of the grand opening event happening again right now. The center is on North Howard Avenue in West Tampa. It's a large space for community activities with a total of 100,000 square feet and lots of people out there right now for the big opening event. But this building has a storied past. It once housed the Florida Army National Guard. It even hosted Elvis Presley, President John F. Kennedy. Lots of history there. Our Ryan Hughes joins us now live. And Ryan, they've been working on renovating this building for quite some time now. Exactly, Gene. Good morning to you. Construction began back in November of 2014, and it wrapped up recently. The building, of course, is rich with history dating back decades. And as you see here live, many people are gathered here today to remember and to also look forward. It's a day of fanfare and celebration for a building that's a piece of Tampa history. Uh, the fact that uh, we've had the privilege of revitalizing this landmark property is just an amazing opportunity. On this day in 1938, the Fort Homer W. Hesterly Armory was dedicated. It was the day after the Pearl Harbor attack. That was 75 years ago to the moment. Fast forward decades, today it's called the Brian Glazer Family Jewish Community Center. The finishing touches just wrapped up. With 100,000 square feet of space, it's a center for everyone in the community. There's a gym, basketball courts, aquatic center, meeting space, and food bank services. We're just thrilled uh, that we are not only able to restore history uh, in Tampa, but also to be the catalyst moving forward in, in, its, uh, in its renaissance. It once housed the Florida Army National Guard and U.S. Army Reserve. It hosted Elvis Presley and President John F. Kennedy. Now, with new life, it could soon be a centerpiece for the city once again. And back live this morning, millions of state and local dollars went into the renovations of the center, which will be operated by the city of Tampa. The total cost, around $30 million. Many people expected to speak here today. This event expected to go into the afternoon. Gene? Yeah, lots of history there and lots of history to be made there in the future, Ryan. What a great building. Yeah. Thanks for that live report.